No, there you go. Um, there's a lot of reviews on the DJI Osmo Pocket camera. This is it. And um, I don't do equipment reviews, but I haven't seen in all these hundreds of reviews anything um, uh, that really tells the truth about this very ingenious camera, but also very flawed because uh, it's so it's been so hyped and it's got so many sort of little extras that really are to do with marketing. Um, you know, all the hyperlapse, blah, blah, blah. Things that uh, you might not really need. But, and all these accessories. I can't believe the amount of accessories, um, such as the uh, ND filters and the um, wide-angle lens, which I have, which flutters around once I put it on the lens, flutters around like nobody's business. Anybody, so anyway... It, uh, it's unusual for that reason. Um, but anyway, I thought I'd do a proper kind of show you some of the stuff that I have been able to shoot that I think is very worthy and fantastic um, example of uh, what you can do. So, yeah. <laughs> issues about this uh, dodgy uh, <laughs> when you put a wide angle lens on which you know I sold that is a wide angle lens and uh, you see as soon as it goes on uh, it gets uh, flatter 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 and it's the weight and yet they say oh don't you put it on once the gimbal's on anyway what I'm saying I know, tap to resume. Fuck off. Uh, what I'm saying here is that uh, it can't handle these wide angle, this wide angle lens. I've only got one. I haven't got, I'm, not, I'm not using, um, you know, uh, NDs and effects and things. But the idea of a wide angle seems really sensible. But it just doesn't work. The, the, the bottom line is that um, it flutters away, just starts um, vibrating. And the uh, reviews I've seen, they keep saying, oh, just give it a little tap, it'll be fine. Or, only happens occasionally. It happens all the time with me. So, in fact, if I'm doing anything serious, I do not use the wide angle. And to be honest, you don't really need it. It's kind of nice, but... It doesn't work, it doesn't work. That's the idea, really, is that... You don't have to carry large bits of equipment. And you can do this, which I think is really cool. If I hit it three times. Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, it's all about me. I forgot to tell you. But if I want to do all be well at you, I just hit it three times again, and it sort of it does that. <laughs> Okay, 
let's uh, finish this off. Let's finish this off. This this whole Osmo pocket thing. Here it is. Uh, we've talked about it. We've seen a bits of it. Uh, not interested in all the piggledy higgledy piggledy detail. Just to say that it's very useful and it's fantastic in many ways. But yeah, maybe a little over gizmo ish. Um, it looks like an ET. You don't. You gotta. You gotta think what you. You're gonna be seen operating this thing, and and it's like a pen torch or some funny little ET thing. <laughs> and don't tell me cameramen don't care what they look like. <laughs> they care. <laughs> I like to look sexy and like, uh, hey, you know, I got this whacking great camera on my shoulder and it's uh, pretty, um, it's my potency. It's like a car. So, do you see what I'm saying about this? You know, but, um, and uh, yeah, the main issue is it doesn't take the um, add-ons, as far as I know, it doesn't take the add-ons. You can't stick these uh, wide-angle adapters or... ND filters or things without it going crazy. That's a big issue. And um, I'm sure it will get addressed. So get one if you like, it's a bit of fun. Uh, it's great for shoot, you know, sort of being rough and ready to shoot stuff uh, on, on the go, all that. Thank you so much. Um, we look forward to another product review. You never know.